Hey guys, what's going on? This is Reggie. Um, back with another video about something that happened this weekend. Nothing bad or anything, but um, the new Hyundai Ionic came out. And, you know, it's interesting. You know, a little, uh, different type of car. I, it's an EV. Uh, I'll link it below if you guys haven't seen what it looks like or maybe put a picture somewhere. Anyway, uh, it looks futuristic. Yeah, you know, some people like it, some people hate it. I don't really give a shit. I just wanted it um, because I'm tired of feeling. I'm literally tired of feeling gas, dude. I'm so sick and tired of feeling gas. Um, so I wanted an EV to replace my gas guzzler, my gas car. So uh, the price was cheap, you know. Um, I think it was fifty grand for um, fifty something grand for uh, the fully loaded one, all wheel drive, you know, top of line stuff. So I was like, okay, not bad, you know, cheaper than a Tesla, I believe, at the same equivalent if you compare it together. Uh, for the, now, I don't compare with the Model Y because it's it's not an SUV. Right? No matter what they say, it ain't an SUV, dude. I test drove it, you know, and it's not an SUV. Like, I've test drove an SUV, and an SUV is an SUV, but an uh, Ionic 5 is not an SUV. Anyways, so I went to um, one of the dealerships in, uh, in NorCal. Uh, to test drive it they had I think what 12 18 or something like that like just lined up parked everywhere so I was like okay cool I got my selection uh, the one I wanted was the all-wheel drive limited uh, test drove it inside was nice you know um, kind of luxurious I guess now my wife has a tell you um, Palisade a Hyundai Palisade fully loaded limited and that one feels very luxurious like when you sit in it, you're like, oh, damn, this feels good. This feels nice, you know. It's a really nice looking um, SUV. So, and it's a Hyundai. So, when I um, when I went and sat in the Ionic, I didn't get that type of a vibe. I didn't feel the vibe of, oh, man, this is really luxury. It just felt okay. You know, it felt all right, which was weird. Because, you know, that's why you get the limited, right? You get everything. Um... The gauges and stuff, I wasn't really a big fan of. It's like futuristic stuff. Like, I miss my old round gauges. Maybe I'm too old or something, I don't know. But the way they have it reminded me of like a landing strip, you know. I'll put some pictures or something while I'm talking here to kind of reference what I'm talking about. Um, the, some of the cool factors were that the uh, armrest area, you know, it slides back and forth. So that was cool. Inside was not bad, you know. Uh, it's just normal stuff. Test drove it. It was good, you know. I mean, it's fast for an SUV. Now I have test drove both the Model Three and the Model Y uh, long range, and for both long ranges and the base one. So the long range is uh, Tesla or Model Three is you know 4.2 seconds, which is fast. And that's gonna be another uh, story I'll uh, video I'll talk about. But uh, it's good, you know. Um, it's good. I mean, it's not bad. Um, the acceleration is a little weird. So from a stop, when you step on it, it it accelerates, and then at the midpoint is when you feel that torque, and then up top it just goes away. So it's kind of a weird curve to me. Like it was just like gradual. Oh shit! And drop. Nothing. Like so. It's just it's like uh, it's just, it's just a weird thing. While um, the Model 3 was you step on it, you're like, oh shit, you know, just kind of consistent, oh shit. There's no time for you to breathe. It's just an oh shit moment. So maybe that's how they programmed it to um, not have that type of takeoff. I don't know, maybe conserve battery or something, but whatever. Everything was good, you know, I was I was interested. Again, it was cheaper than a Model 3. And you get $7,500 uh, federal tax rebate. So, I mean, come on, you know, that's even cheaper. Sat down with the guy, asked him how much it'll be, you know, he started doing his BS, oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, just tell me how much it'll be, man. Like, I, I really don't want to waste time. So he went to go speak to his manager, came back. He's like, okay, well, if you're interested, you know, I can go ahead and get you this um, before tax license, blah, 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 for 66 grand. And I'm like, wait, wait, what? Online, it's like 50, like 53 grand, like 50, yeah, 53, 52 grand for this one. So why why is this 50, 66 grand? Like what? Uh, and then he, he's like, oh well, you know, because of the shortages, blah blah blah. There's a ten thousand dollar dealer markup. Ten 
thousand dollar dealer markup now of course in this day and age because of you know what markups are just like a normal thing now it's just you know oh you want to buy a car let me put a markup on it real quick for no reason oh because chip shortage so and they have 18 12 to 18 parked but but chip shortage so they have to put um uh, 10k uh, uh markup so i'm like no i'm good man like i'll, I'll go test drive something else it's like well you know you sure because blah blah blah, blah. you know the sales bills bill bs so i kind of throw out them like do you, do you realize that i could get a tesla 3 long range which has more power more distance more everything and it's higher luxury in my opinion since i've driven in both for significantly cheaper than this like huh <laughs> like what and the guy didn't give a shit because he he brought his you know a sales manager whatever and i told him that too and he's like well you know if you don't want it somebody else will buy it so you know uh, you know thanks for coming by that's it literally i mean and and what can i say he's right some idiot will go and buy it for that markup no questions asked hell they'll probably be like you know what i'm stupid let me give you 15k markup because chip shortage i guarantee you somebody is going to be stupid enough to pay that markup blindly and buy it because this is how it is and the dude the sales manager and the dude who was uh, the the rep guy too they both didn't give a shit because they know it's true they both just literally answered that and walked away they didn't even like let me say anything back that was it that was the end of it now would i go there again no i just went there to test drive the car but man that just shows how the times are where they literally don't give a Quack. fuck about you they literally don't give a beep about you because somebody else is going to be dumb enough to come and buy it or you know with markup a hyundai a freaking hyundai now i know hyundais are getting there in quality and luxury and all that stuff but back in the day you know nobody was like yo dude i bought a sixty-six thousand dollar hyundai and somebody else is like oh shit no way bro you got a hyundai oh snap that's ball of status no nobody says that no nobody uh you know if you if you're not if, but if you say that like oh man i bought a mercedes or a beamer or a tesla people are gonna be like oh dang you got a tesla you got a beamer you gotta you know you got an acura like whatever right the, the, that thing is still there yes not that high of a of a brag but it's still there hell i told a few uh people i know that i was gonna get a uh, a tesla and they're like oh snap dude you balling i'm like no i'm not i'm not balling it's called debt <laughs> i'm gonna be in debt but the reaction is so different it's like oh snap you're gonna get a tesla now <laughs> those same people when we got my wife's uh, hyundai uh when i told them i got a hyundai for the wifey they're like oh okay cool that's it because it's a hyundai you know like okay what do you want to do like dance about it or something so it just shows you like nobody's still it's still a hyundai you know like it's a hyundai but 66 grand for a hyundai i think the y is still cheaper the long range y is cheaper than the hyundai and in my opinion now this is opinion based it looks better i've driven it sportier like it's just better overall now if the hyundai didn't have the 10k markup then i would have been like you know what yeah let's go with the hyundai and i'll get the 7500 dollars rebate but man 10k markup and hyundai lets this happen like why are dealerships getting away with this you know why is this allowed well well i guess it's allowed because idiots keeps buying it right people keep spending their money and that's another thing <laughs> like change the topic well it's still on the same topic the unemployment rates are so high inflation all that shit is stuff going up people aren't making that much money but they're spending significantly more money how where how does this work that doesn't make any sense to me like people are spending more money than they're making unemployment is at a higher rate right now than employment and it's just you know like i don't understand that but yeah that was just my you know my reggie's rant that uh for the weekend it's crazy man it's crazy that hyundai you know with dealer markup that dealer doesn't even care if you're gonna buy or not because they have other suckers lined up 66 grand for a hyundai ionic damn for a hyundai ionic 
unbelievable you know and nowadays buying an MSRP is considered a steal how depressing is that back in the day MSRP was ah you got ripped off now it's all like oh wow dude you got an MSRP man you hella lucky where'd you get it from I'm gonna go there too because that's a steal that's sad anyway hope you like the video like it so others can uh, join in and, and uh, understand and you know comment on how they feel about the, how this whole thing is going with this car buying stuff comment below have you gotten any experiences like that what do you think about the INIC 5 versus Tesla versus Kia uh, EV6 versus Mustang Mach-E etc and how your experiences have been about the stupid markup stuff Ugh. and uh, subscribe if you haven't my numbers keep growing and that's all because of you guys you guys are making it happen so please continue making it happen I appreciate it a lot sometimes I don't post too much because I work still so you know life happens and all that stuff but there's gonna be some good stuff coming up and I've already hinted at what I'm getting so there's gonna be some videos on that too um, yeah my hobbies keep changing so much so new stuff is gonna come anyways I'm uh, going off topic like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.